everyone, my name is Lena Krippina. In Sofia and in St. Petersburg, the second day ended and the all-around medals were won. What interesting things happened, who ended up on the podium and who didn't succeed, I will tell you in this video. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, so you won't miss any new interesting videos. Well, if you want to be the first to know about the news from the world of gymnastics, then choose a social media platform from which it is convenient for you to do this. You have access to a Telegram channel, a group in VK, Facebook, and Tiandexen. And if you like what I do, then you can support me using the links in the description. Given that YouTube is not currently monetized, this will be especially important for me. Thanks. On April 9th, the second day of the World Cup stage in Sofia ended, where the all-around medals among the individuals and group athletes were played. So the gold medal was won by Rojana Klein, a Bulgarian gymnast. And knowing that Boriana does not always go through all the programs stably, it was especially joyful that this time she managed and passed all the four routines without a big mistake. The only moment that made me nervous was the risk in the clubs, where she professionally saved the apartheid and adjusted to the badly thrown club. In general, all around for Boriana went very well. From here, such a good result. But judging by the gap from her closest rivals, she still has a margin, and I think there is room to grow. Talking about the routines, the ribbon still doesn't attract me, but the clubs are very unusual. Silver was won by an Italian gymnast, Sofia Raffaele. In general, after the first day, the podium did not mix up, and everything remained the same. Today, Sofia seemed more confident and there was no longer that feeling that she pursued yesterday about reinsurance. Although there was a little dirt in the performance and some elements I still have questions about. Well, in general, this is my personal favorite among foreign gymnasts for sure. She's painfully sweet. The only thing that still worries me about her is that this young star still looks like a child. And after all, an adolescent period will surely come soon. She will begin to grow and take the shape of a woman. In figure skating, such things usually don't go unnoticed, and some gymnasts also have problems. I would not want such a pretty gymnast to suddenly begin performing worse. Well, another interesting thing about Sofia is the update of Leotard for the ribbon, and it looks really cool. Of course, I don't really like it when a Leotard is one-to-one -one similar, and in general, when copies are made. Here it seems not one-to-one, -one, but still there is definitely a similarity. Although for me, the leotard is still insanely beautiful, there are definitely associations with Tina. Write in the comments if you like this approach to costumes. Bronze was won by another Bulgarian gymnast, Stiliana Nikolova. Another little one. Either these rules promote such little gymnasts or is it just a trend? And they seem to me more nimble than long-legged and tall gymnasts. And speed is very important now in gymnastics. Today, she coped very well with both exercises of the program and received decent marks. The only thing that did not allow her to take second place or compete for the gold was yesterday's loss in the ball. So comparing the scores of Bariana and Stiliana, I think this is clearly visible. But this tournament is not the last one, so let's see how Stiliana will show herself further. By the way, a cool moment that I really like seeing in the broadcast is that the team group of Bulgaria, which became the Olympic champions in Tokyo, sat as a whole team the entire competition separately and rooted for all the gymnasts. It seemed to me like something so cool and kind, and if the girls are really proud of. Fourth in all around was Miliana Baldessari. Today she also went through all the routines quite well, although I still have the feeling that she lacks the artisticity that was added up by the new rules by 10 points. I hope that this is due to the fact that her programs have not been practiced enough yet. But just compared with the top three, they have all the program with great artistic and image and the only question is whether you like it or not. And Miliana still does not have this feeling of the image in the program, although she is undoubtedly a great gymnast. Fifth place was taken by a Hungarian gymnast, Evelyn Victoria Coxis. I won't say that I'm particularly first in Hungarian gymnastics and know their history, but it seems to me that Hungarian gymnasts have never climbed so high in the rating table of the World Cup stages in history of gymnastics. But for me, there will be a reason to study how their things were until 2022. Sixth place was taken by the US gymnast Lily Muzino, an interesting athlete, and I think their representation reminds me of their previous star, Laura Zeng. The result is also not bad considering that she has started performing at the world level in an individual program not so long ago. 
but I think we'll still see how she will develop. 7th place was taken by a gymnast who is already known by many and for whom Russian fans are worried as if she was their own. And that is not surprising since Eljana Taneva from Kazakhstan often trades in Moscow. And we all know from my previous videos that she also gets leotards in Russia. Well, among the gymnasts who to be curious about, we will discuss the Ukrainian athlete Victoria Nopriyanka. Today, Fika coped with her emotions better and was able to get into both finals, rising to 19th place in the all-around. Although there were still mistakes and losses, it is impossible not to notice that Vika is becoming a beautiful and attractive gymnast. Let's wait and see until her programs are fully perfected and she will make them have more difficulty. I think that she will be able to fight for higher places. Meanwhile, the Japanese athlete Kita Sumire did not perform. Unfortunately, there was no information about what exactly happened. What I know of is that she was not feeling well. Nevertheless, there would still be intrigue for the next tournaments. In group exercises, everything is still not easy, but this is normal. Group gymnasts usually take a longer time to work out their programs. So the Bulgarian gymnasts pulled out of fourth place onto the gold medals. The Greek team was second today. Their routines were a little worse than yesterday. Because of this, it was not possible to remain first, although I think there could be chances if not for the mistakes. The French team, which took third place, was not perfect either, but they still did better than most. The fourth place was taken by the Japanese team. Also today, unfortunately, not everything worked out. Losses were made and the ending as a whole turned out to be blurry. The Spanish team also had some very hard time. The gymnast also decided to ignore the extra apartheid and as a result, only 5th place. The 6th place was taken by the German team. Today they did not have a good day at all. The girls made losses and changed their apartheid for spare ones more than once. Well, in St. Petersburg, everything ended quite predictably. Gold was won by the Russian gymnast Maria Pabelishkina, followed by Irina Schenker, also from Russia, and Anastasia Salas from Belarus, took only 3rd place. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, Nastya made mistakes in both clubs and ribbon today. Well, I will see you after the finals of some of these events. We'll see who will take the medals there. And remember that I love you all very much and bye bye.